Hey guys, so as you can see, we are getting the kitchen garden going. We've had a couple ideas in our heads and it finally came together. We had this old arb that we've had since we were in North Carolina and it's been sitting in the garage. So I figured, you know what, we're gonna use it for the kitchen garden here, use it as an opening, build some fence here. Now the problem here is we're dealing with some uneven ground. So I had to do some work to get this to actually work. I had to dig some holes, get this arbor to level out put some posts and then the fence here using some lattice fencing because it's just something that I thought would go great for the entrance here and I'm absolutely loving the way it looks just from this panel on this side. I'm getting ready to install the other panel but just wanted to show you guys what we're working with because definitely excited to get this kitchen garden. It's exciting to get some vegetables going. We haven't been able to do any vegetables for the last four years now really because of the space that we were limited to at the last location. <music> All right, so as you can see, this is what we're working with right here. This whole area is gonna be the kitchen garden. We'll get started on beds at another time, but so far this is the idea for the entrance because the other thing too is we don't want the pets to be coming in here and uprooting anything or messing with any of the beds, especially when we got some vegetables growing in here. But I'm excited to have this place going. Angie's definitely excited. We picked out some flowers already, some seeds that we're gonna put in here. But this is basically the idea of what we're working with. As you can see, we have a pomegranate here. We have the apple tree over there. Got some other wood that I'm gonna work with to make our beds, but this is a great space for a kitchen garden. And I'm excited to get some beds in here. So far, the ideas of where we're gonna put the beds has not come to fruition yet, but we have plenty of wood to do what we need to do. And if we need to go get some more, we'll get some more. But the idea is to have a couple of beds here, um, some climbing stuff. Somebody mentioned some climbing roses here. We're not sure yet. I think I'm gonna do some beds right there at the entrance behind the fence. We can have maybe some beans or some snap peas going up there. Um, roses are yet to be determined. We have plenty of roses in the garden, but that's yet to be determined. We may have a couple of roses. And if we do, we're probably gonna set them back there. Maybe a nice looking bench back there. Not really too sure yet, um, but this is the start of it. This is what it's gonna look like. All right, so I've got another fence panel cut out for this side here, but as you can see, if I put it down here, it's not level at all. So I went ahead and bought some landscape logs so I could put under here, bring this up to make it a little bit level with there and have a filler underneath here. And I think that'll work out a little bit better than just having it way down here or kind of slanted and try to work with cutting that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting some of these landscape logs and fill in the bottom so I can raise this up a bit. And I think it's gonna look nice. I already did it on that side. I'm liking the way it looks. Um, the only difference is there's a color difference here, but we may just paint the whole thing. Not too sure yet. Okay, so I'm not an expert builder. I did what I could to get it in there. I think it came out great. Sorry from the jigsaw puzzle pieces I added, but I don't think it's gonna matter once it gets painted um, and you have some stuff growing back here. It's just absolutely gonna look beautiful. Uh, but I'm loving the way it looks. I didn't bring it quite up to level because I didn't want to mess around with too much more cutting um, with the logs down there. I think what I did actually works out and it looks good. Um, I think we need a door though. And I think I have just the right material to make a door that'll make this look a little bit more complete. So that's gonna do it. Latches on there. Hinges are on there. A Little bit of a challenge to build this because of the slope, but overall I like it. Now, again, I'm not a master builder, but I like the way it came out. I think it looks good. I think all we need now is maybe some paint, maybe some stain. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we paint it all one solid color? Should we stain it maybe to match this or sand this down and restain the whole thing? You let me know. We're not quite sure yet. I asked Angie, she's unsure as well. We want to kind of match it to the house, 
But you see that fence back there and then you see the red here. We're not sure what we're doing with the fence here. We're not sure if we're gonna paint the fence, maybe the red or I, we're not completely sure. But this is it. This is the first start to the uh, kitchen garden. I'm absolutely loving it. It's a nice little uh, escape, you know, to the vegetables and the things that we love to eat. And it's exciting to be able to have this back here because we haven't been able to do a kitchen garden for the last four years. And I'm just excited to start growing some stuff back here. This is mainly to keep the dogs out of here because they like to dig around whenever there's vegetables. Um, but, and also for aesthetics. And it looks beautiful. Um, we're loving the way it looks. Uh, I had to cut the door here a little bit at an angle so it, you know, swings without hitting the ground here. As you can see. But I'm loving it. Again, not the greatest door in the world, but it's going to work. And it's got the latch and we're absolutely loving it. All right guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this build. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I didn't show a lot of the building. I didn't really give any details on what we were doing because this was kind of on the spot, on the go, trying to make it work the way I needed it to work for the kitchen garden here. But overall, I think it came out nice. I think the next thing we're gonna work on is layout for the beds in here. So that's probably gonna be the next project. Um, yeah, exciting exciting to be able to grow some stuff in here maybe plant some stuff here i don't know yet but hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you guys in the next video